Today is a very exciting day for all those DGI digital FPV system owners. We finally have a new firmware nearly after three months of waiting for something to come out of DGI. This firmware just released on July the 8th and it's version six. Well, technically version 01.00.06.00. And it looks like it uses the existing DGI Assistant version 2.02. .02. So no need for us to update our DGI Assistant software, which is perfect. Now let's see what we have in this update. Looks like they've added this um, much anticipated 50 megabits per second bitrate mode, which if my math is any good, doubles our uh, bandwidth for the images here, which should provide better quality. And I'm very excited to see how this works out, um, especially when you're flying over uh, grass or, or a lot of trees and things. The focus mode kicks in very regularly to try to adhere to the current uh, 25 megabit per second uh, limit that we have. So it looks like it only applies to FCC regions, but... I'm fairly sure that the existing um, hack that's in place will still work. Next, it looks like they've added the frequency ranges for the 25 megabit uh, channels. I suspect this is to help with folks who are trying to find the best band for race band and so forth. Next, we have an optimized power algorithm. Oh, this is really good. Because right now, um, folks who still have the auto temp control on you know, if you're flying out in the field somewhere, you go behind a building, you crash, you disarm. What happens is the DJI air unit will automatically go from, say, 700 milliwatts down to 25. And what happens? You've lost now your image because you don't have the same penetration. Looks like they've added in some sort of um, smarts there where it won't uh, drop down from the 700 megawatts. Um, down to the 25. We'll have to try this out, see how well it works. Um, optimize user experience when there are multiple devices in the area. Okay, so maybe something to do with um, less interference, fixed rare issue, hmm, that's fine. Fixed an issue where updates failure report. Actually, I had this happen. I was trying to refresh version five on my air unit and it kept failing even though it seemed to work. So it looks like they fixed that issue. Fix rare issue, air unit automatically. Ooh, yes, so this is, this looks like it may be the notorious um, SD card slow or you know, just general um, onboard recording corruption issue that we had from version five. We'll have to see if they've resolved that. That was um, a big issue and a lot of folks actually downgraded from version five back to version four because they wanted to have or they needed to have the onboard recording. Very interestingly, it looks like they removed a section that spoke about what's coming up in the next version. Because if we look at version 5, you see it says coming in next update. And they've had that for quite a while, coming in next update for version 4. Uh, hmm. Okay, so it looks like they removed that. They want to keep the next uh, version I guess a secret, but um, let's see how version six works out. I'm really excited for the 50 megabits per second. All right, we'll check back in. I've got it in 50 megabit, high quality. All right, launch. All right, so, so far the air unit is recording. Wow, the quality is amazing. So there is no sign of um, a focus mode, even with being close to the ground, a lot of grass moving, no focus mode, crystal clear. Wow, they've done an amazing job with image quality improvements here. Latency holding at around the high 30s, low 40s. Air unit still recording. Let's go over the uh, tall grass here and see how it makes out. Usually over here we see a lot of um, focus mode. So right now focus mode just barely kicking in on the right side. But usually there'll be crazy amount of focus mode in, at this section here. Because a lot of tall grass. That latency is still low 30s, low 40s. 
Yeah, latency actually seems better than on the last firmware. So I've been running version four and version five the last couple of months. Yeah, this um, this seems pretty good. Very well done. I think uh, the last three months or so, well worth the wait. Air unit still, still crack a lacking. Air unit still recording. Four minutes into the flight so far nothing really weird happening uh, focus mode kicking in a little tiny bit nothing crazy usually over here on this close to the ground you would see uh, really both sides the bars are almost fully on with the focus mode looks like we never explained what focus mode actually is it's a feature of the DJI goggles which you can either leave off turn on or set to auto mode and what this feature does is it allows the image to be of highest quality in the center in situations where the image transmission is over the 25 or right now 50 megabit limit of the system. And this typically happens when you're flying very low um, to grass, uh, a lot of trees. And what it looks like would be both sides of the image, about a quarter on each side, becomes very blocky and very blurry. And it does that so that it saves as much of the image transmission bandwidth as possible for the center. And we're holding still at 50.8, so no real degradation here. Let's go a little bit further out. I don't want to walk through the tall grass, so we're not going to go too far. But um, yeah, we're down to three bars, still 50.8, 38 milliseconds. Yeah. Okay, we're down to two bars and we're kind of red. One bar. Yeah, so definitely um, we're, we are giving up some signal strength here by going to 50 megabit. I've never gone down to you know, two bars or, or, or one bar being that close. Yeah, I'm really liking the uh, 50 megabit. I think I'll, I'll stay with the 50 megabit. Now the issue you have with the 50 megabit though is you do drop from the eight channels, so the seven channels plus the public, you drop down to three channels plus the public. So if you are out there with a couple of friends and you have you know more than four friends, which you know, I, I don't, so I don't have any problems there. But if you have more than four friends, then the 50 megabit is not gonna work for you. But if you're like me, flying on your own, maybe you have one really good friend, 50 megabit, it's amazing. Honestly, um, I, I don't understand why anyone would not want to move over to digital at this point. And honestly, how much did DJI charge us for this update right now? Zero dollars. Maybe three months of, of waiting, but they didn't charge us anything. They're just so kind and, and giving people, you know? Hey guys, so we just finished four flights on the new version six firmware. And unfortunately, it does look like the SD card slow error or the onboard recording corruption issue is not resolved. Out of my four flights, three of them right away gave the SD slow error and only one of them was able to record uh, the entire flight. So definitely better than version 5, but nowhere near the reliability of onboard recording that version 4 had. But I gotta say, the 50 megabit is just amazing. No more focus mode or very reduced uh, focus mode. Very easily you can see your exit points. Uh, just looks beautiful. You do have a trade-off of having to give up the additional channels. Uh, the 50 megabits didn't change. The latency was all good, but um, I can see the signal bars dropping down to you know one, two. At one point, they actually dropped down to zero signal. If you are flying by yourself or in a very small group of friends, less than three or four, go over to the new version, version six, especially if you uh, don't require the onboard recording. If you do require the onboard DVR, looks like version four is still king. 
All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little review. We try to get it out as quickly as possible. So make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. We have a whole lot of videos in the works. Thank you.